Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Heather Davis with Eden Cultures Media and I hope that you enjoy this video and just to start off really quickly before I go into um, the ergot in wheat silent epidemic and how Roundup may possibly be aggravating it, I want to say one thing. Why did you subscribe to Eden Cultures uh, on YouTube or why do you go to the website? please comment anywhere and let me know. Was it for my Bible readings? Was it for the health stuff? Was it for my GMO videos? Was it for my music videos? I want to hear from you. Please let me know so that I can provide you with more videos or articles that are like the ones that you originally liked. Now back to the subject. I was um, messing around on my website and my goodness, I apologize. It is such a pain to navigate. I, I really need a webmaster to help me because it seems like it's really hard for you to post a comment because I had it to where you had to like log in and you had to do this and you had to do that. And I hope I have it fixed. And if one of you would just so graciously go to my website and just put a comment anywhere, you could just say test, you could say whatever you want. Tell me like, was it a pain? You know, um, because I can see people viewing, especially this article right here, but they're not commenting on it. And um, I just updated these share buttons so you can also share. Anyway, so I was reviewing this article, Ergot in Wheat, A Silent Epidemic. And I was writing about how I learned that because of our modern processing, you know, the machine harvesting instead of a human, and they're not, you know, doing everything that we used to do when we would grow our own wheat, um, there's an increase of ergot. I, I also mentioned in that video that genetically modified wheat attracts fun these funguses even more. And lately I've learned that Roundup, and this comes from uh, roundup.ca, uh, and it's a pre-harvest staging guide. It's a PDF file. But I've learned that Roundup is sprayed on wheat right before harvest. You can see the Roundup stuff. You can see right here, introduction, crop staging. So there's weed staging, but there's crop staging. Wheat, barley, oats, canola, flax, peas, lentils, soybeans, and dry beans. Okay, and then down here is the stuff they're killing, which is ironic because they're doing it to seed the wheat. Okay, it's important. Crop staging is important. Uh... Apply when it has 30% or less moisture, the hard dough stage, a thumbnail impression will remain on the kernel three to five days before you would normally swath. So they're spraying Roundup just a few days pre-harvest. But is Roundup toxic? I mean, we know it's related to genetically modified foods, okay? And we know I talked in this article about how genetically modified wheat whether you know the government or Monsanto wants to admit that it's here, um, it attracts you know molds more. Okay, and you've heard about these soil problems that have been going on with Roundup. Well, what happens is Roundup. One of the uses for Roundup, besides an herbicide, okay, it's also now patented as an antibiotic and a mineral chelator originally. So when you apply Roundup to your soil, okay, let's just say it doesn't even get on the wheat, which is not true. It, they spray it directly on the wheat. This, it depletes minerals out of the soil. So what's happening is there's a chemical reaction, and this is where my theory steps in, but I've had lots of chemistry in college, okay? So what's going on is there's a chemical reaction occurring between the Roundup and the minerals. Roundup is attracting these minerals. That's why people take chlorella, right? Because chlorella attracts the heavy metals and brings them out of your body. Well, the problem with Roundup is it attracts the minerals you need. That's how it actually kills the weed. It literally blocks, either blocks mineral, uh, reactions or it just steals the mineral away so it can't create the reaction. So if it gets in the soil, then the soil is going to be less resistant. It's going to have less of an immune system, so to speak. And it's going to get more um, more molds. And I just found this website. I'm going to have to check it out further, but this guy has a great article, The Molding of the World. 
Okay, so that article I wrote about ergot and wheat, he's taking it even further. He's talking about mycotoxins in general, and he definitely relates this to Roundup, which to me makes perfect sense. Okay, when a person is mineral deficient, okay, say that you're mineral deficient in the things that Roundup chelates, like zinc, iron, manganese, or copper, you are going to have a lowered immune system, okay? And you're going to be more susceptible to fungal infections. The same thing goes for the soil. Now, when it's sprayed directly on the wheat, it is literally directly drawing out moisture, okay, and drying these things up. It's just, it's, and you're eating it. That's the main point here. You're eating the Roundup. Then the wheat that's grown in it the next year in that soil, guess what? That wheat has mineral deficiencies, so there's going to be more chance of something like this growing on that wheat, okay? Because the soil that that wheat grew in is mineral deficient. And then, as I mentioned in this video, this mold becomes endophytic, becomes a part of the DNA of the plant. Okay, just like if you get a disease, it will affect your DNA. No matter what they told me in biology, they said that you cannot acquire a genetic change in your lifetime. And that is absolutely not true because now we know, of course, my degree was a few years ago. Now we know that epigenetics is very real and you can turn on and off genes. So acquiring a new gene, maybe not, but your body can theoretically, now this is theory, go in and rearrange your quote junk DNA and that could give you a different gene over time you know what I'm saying so um my point is that it's this might be what's causing these crazy funguses on our wheat that are leading to insanity so we're directly eating the roundup it's stealing the minerals from us but we're also eating plants that have been grown in soil Things, from my understanding, have to be genetically engineered to withstand Roundup. So if they're spraying it on this within a couple days, they're literally just killing the plant <laughs> and so that it can desiccate a little bit before feeding it to you. When, I, when my rosemary plant got sprayed with Roundup when I lived in a condo in South Florida because we had these gardeners, you know, it was through the condo and I had no choice, basically. I saw my plant literally desiccate. It got sprayed on one little tiny arm and then it just, within a week, the entire plant was overtaken. It was as if a domino effect of mineral chelation had occurred. So it wasn't just the original point that was sprayed. It spread. It was very strange. Um, so I had to get a whole new rosemary plant. But, you know, I think Roundup is causing this. So it, our direct mineral deficiencies are making us crazy, okay? But then you're eating the, you know, the wheat that's got the fungus on it on top of that, and your immune system is going to be lowered just like the wheat's supposed you know, immune system is lowered, which gets me to the positive of all this, that minerals, you know, minerals are what Roundup is stealing. So perhaps, you know, once again, I'm not your doctor, blah, blah, blah. If you focus on consuming more minerals, then perhaps you'll have greater protection from this. And I did read a few medical journals and they said that, you know, it is a dose dependent thing with Roundup. So if you avoid it and you get a little bit and then you eat mineral rich foods, you know, maybe you'll be better off than somebody that just downs whole grain, non-organic, non-sprouted, conventionally grown wheat all day with their kfo meat and you know and their hormone cheese <laughs> like so who knows i just wanted to point that out and you know back to the importance of vitamin b12 because yeasts funguses molds they grow in this and, and they create folate there's a relationship there that i touched on in this other one um in this video here death by bread i touched on that in another video uh, no insanity for me, whatever, B12, something. But that's how they make, you know, folate 
in if they're going to sell it to you in a in a pill they grow it on a fungus yeast or mold really yeast but they're all the same family and so if you have a bunch of yeast in you because you're mineral deficient and your immune system's lowered due to that because of all the roundup that you're eating and it's also an antibiotic so you're going to be more susceptible to yeast then you're going to grow lots of folic acid and you may not be in taking enough B12 to go with that because B12 isn't on bread. B12 is on meat. And a lot of vegetarians out there don't eat meat and eat a ton of bread. And I really think that's leading to mania, dementia, um, you know, maybe even related to schizophrenia, bipolar disorder. If you, and schizophrenia has definitely been linked uh, to gluten. And I have, of course, one of my EC talk show live episodes was about that. It was about schizophrenia and abduction experiences and hybridized grains. It's linked up uh, medically. So what is it about? Is it the gluten or is it just the Roundup, no mineral, uh, ergot, endophytic, you know, genetic problem? So anyway, I hope I didn't just completely go over your head <laughs> and I hope I didn't ramble too much, but I think the solution here is if you are going to eat grains, you know, when I did this video, I also made another one that said, I'm giving up all grains. I got really freaked out about all of it. Um, I really think that if you get an unhybridized form of grain, you know, like a spelt or an einkorn and it's, uh, organic and sprouted. Yes, she's agreeing then I think you'll be safe. I'm okay with organic sprouted spelt or sourdough spelt or einkorn, sprouted einkorn that's organic. I'm not gonna go completely no grain and I'm not gonna go completely no carb. So I'm, I'm coming back to the middle on that, but I do think if you go and you eat wheat, you know, it's, there's so many problems with it. And if you just go get fast food, not only the problems I've mentioned are there with the folate and the Roundup and the no minerals. <laughs> On top of that, they put azodicarbonamide in it, which is what they use in yoga mats. So your fluffy white bread has yoga mat in it. Gross. All right. Anyway, please subscribe to Eden Cultures. And please, if you have any issue with the website, go down here to contact Okay, and just please, of course, see there, that's how slow my website is. Just, just send me a message or, or content, you know, comment anywhere and tell me like this irritates me or I want to do that or whatever and give me ideas.